Hello everyone, this is Mavic. So 2020 has been a year of house plans. I've personally acquired quite a few house plans last year compared to previous years. And I have greater success of keeping them alive because I get to take care of them and talk to them almost every day. Do you also talk to your plans? For 2020, plants such as Money Tree, ZZ Plant, Snake Plant, White Knight Philodendron, Monstera Deliciosus, Marantas, and a few succulent varieties gain popularity. And I'm sure that most of you are curious to know the top house plants for 2021. So I've done a few research and based on that, here are the trendiest plants for 2021 in no particular order. So the first plant on our list is this mini Monstera. This plant is often referred to as Philodendron guinea or piccolo. But did you know that Rapidopora tetrasperma is neither a Monstera nor a Philodendron? But yes, it is still a member of the Araceae family. Now this plant is a slow-growing vine that has deeply cut split leaves that alternate on both sides. It really tends to do best with adequate support to climb using moss poles, totem, or trellis. This is one of my tetraspermas and it is thriving even during winter. And take a look at this new leaf that is about to unfurl. The next plant is Philodendron gloriosum. This is one of those plants that look so ordinary but grow so beautifully and magnificently at maturity. This is a rare aroid, highly sought after and with the right care, it makes a fantastic houseplant. In my previous video, I shared with you the Gloriosum that I bought, and I got it as a rehab plant, but you know, it's been recovering well since I got it. And this is a Gloriosum that I bought from Oops I Sold My Planties. She has a YouTube account too and an Instagram account, so do check her out. This plant is native to Colombia, and its leaves can reach up to 36 inches in the wild, but will stay more reserved in a home environment. The next plant is this blue star fern. This is an unusual fern that is easy to care for and could grow well in low light condition. It is best to place in the bathroom because it thrives in places with higher humidity levels. It has green blue or blue green leaves like so. New shoots look like this. And blue star fern is a plant that comes from tropical rainforests of South America and in the wild, this fern typically grows to one foot tall and one foot wide. But again, it wouldn't grow to its full potential if they are grown indoor. Now I've read many articles saying that the fishbone cactus will be one of the most popular plants for 2021, if not the number one. This is also called rickrack or zigzag cactus. This plant is native to Mexico and is famous for its long, flat stems which look like fish bones, hence it is called fishbone cactus. Now this is one of the easiest plants to care for. It is very low maintenance and so easy to propagate. You just need uh, a piece of stem to start an entirely new plant. So you simply take a fresh cutting, let it callous for a few days, and then place directly in a low soil medium like peat moss and place it in a location that gets medium light. In the right growing condition, they could produce soft pink blooms that open at night but last only for one day. Taking the next spot is this bunny ear cactus, which gets its name from the fact that it does look like the ears of a rabbit. It is flat and thornless, and they say this is safe for pets, but while these are thornless, the glow kids, you know, those tiny hair-like spines that are almost invisible, are very, very irritating to the skin. So when you're working with bunny ear cactus, make sure to wear gloves, pants, or long sleeves. They will thrive in full light, moist soil, and in an area with low humidity. Now we've seen a ton of Calithea varieties popping up lately, but this velvet Calithea earned our next spot. This plant is native to the rainforests of Central and South America, so they thrive in high humidity, bright indirect sunlight, and evenly moist soil. Now for me, Calitheas are hard to care for, but this Calithea variety is not as fuzzy or demanding compared to the other varieties. 
So, if you want to start caring for Calithias, this is going to be a great starter plant for you. Alright, so let's move on to our next plant. Now this year, the string of hearts will gain more popularity. We've seen string of pearls, string of bananas, string of dolphins, and string of turtles took their spot in previous years, but for 2021, this will be the year of string of hearts. The string of hearts is a trailing succulent with beautiful heart-shaped leaves on its vines. This is a fast grower and can grow a few inches in just one month. It is best to pot this in a hanging planter and place it near a window where it can receive plenty of bright indirect sunlight. Alright, so our next plant is this happy bean plant. This plant has bean-shaped leaves, hence the name, and it is a semi-succulent. Now you can tell by looking at its leaves and stems, right? So you only have to water it when the soil is really dry. And yes, like other succulents, happy bean is a very low maintenance plant that thrives in bright indirect light. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite plant. So our next plant was selling like pancakes last year and will continue to be popular this year. This is the Pilea plant or money plant or pancake plant or the UFO plant. This adorable and highly Instagrammable plant has bright green leaves and is so easy to care for. It thrives under moderate to bright indirect light, but will also tolerate partial shade. This plant needs high humidity to grow well, so placing them near a humidifier, especially during winter time, is best. This was so popular last year that it was so hard to find. You would have to pay a lot just to get one. But now you can find them everywhere. Okay, so taking our 10th spot is the snake plant, also known as mother-in-law's tongue. This is great for people who are just starting out on their plant journey because this is so easy to care for. You don't really need a green thumb to care for snake plants. It can survive in the most unsuitable growing conditions, in bright light, medium light, or low light. And if you happen to overwater them, don't worry too much because they will quickly recover. So this is one of the most popular air purifying plants and it is best to keep them in your bedroom because it could help improve the quality of your sleep, based on what I read. Um, but there is a ton of snake plant varieties to choose from, so if you don't already have one, you will have a lot of options. And, you know, it is never too late to get a snake plant. So those are the plants that are bound to be popular this year and that is again based on my research. I know that there's a few other plants that didn't make it to my list like Hoyas, Begonias, Peperomias, or those sought-after philodendron varieties, but you know, we'll revisit this video at the end of this year to see if these plants really gain popularity. Alright, that's it for today, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'd consider subscribing because that would mean so much. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!